Greetings for everyone. Good afternoon to our honorable panel and to our instructor, Mr. Ariel Rogon. We are glad for having you here with us today. We are the Group 2 from Grade 12 ICTCP and we are your researchers for today. I am Raima Naga, the leader, together with my members, Leanne Alison Nadayao, Michaela C. Ramos, Marlon Capitle, and Damian Owen Rasco. And we are here to present our research entitled Jose Abad Santos High School Canteen Online System Using Cascading Style Sheet, a Web Development of Software. The reason why we picked this title is because having an online system canteen is more convenient for the students and other faculties as well. They don't have to worry waiting in a long queues, worrying running out of food, and more to that, it is not a time-consuming. We also use CSS for designing the system because it is great for creating text styles and also it is helpful for formatting other aspects of system layout as well. Before we go on, I just want to show the system I am referring to. When you open the system, you can see the food that are in the canteen that you can buy or order. But you must have an account first. You have to sign up. Then after signing up, you must sign in. Then you can choose a dish that you want to buy and click for more info so you can add rice and beverages and so you can see the ingredients of the dish. You can already see how much your food can cost and you can also leave a message like for example you will order for one person only. After that you can check out but you must confirm it with your password first and by putting your location and your food is ready to go. You can track your food in my cart if it is being prepared or to deliver. The purpose of this study is to get the opinion of Jose Abad Santos High School students regarding the development of a canteen online system in terms of the design of the menu and the concept that this system will supposedly have. And the significance of the study is it will help students of Jose Abad Santos High School with disabilities and students on the highest floor of the building. They don't need to go down just to know that they can no longer buy food they want. Using the canteen online system, it is easier for them to see what food is in the canteen that they can buy and they can order it online using the canteen online system that we develop. These are the statement of the problem for this study. Number one. What are the problems that students of Posebad Santos High School encountered in school canteen? Number two, how does the online canteen system help students with the following? 2.1, menu. 2.2, selecting orders. 2.3, purchase. And number three, what features an online schools canteen system should have in terms of 3.1 content and the last 3.2 design before proceeding to our data presentation for SOPs 1 to 3 this is the formula that we're going to use because we are using Likert scale that's why researcher uses this weighted mean formula where R corresponds to response S for scale and P for our population and now, we will proceed with our data presentation for our SOP number 1. What are the problems that students of Jose Abad Santos High School encountered in a school canteen? This research have 50 populations. Researchers use random sampling with a target of 50 respondents. And to answer statement of the problem number 1, weighted mean is to be used and the following ranges with their corresponding verbal interpretation will be as follows. So, after gathering the data and using the formula, these are the computed weighted mean and their verbal interpretation. So, in this table, it shows that students of Jose Abad Santos High School sometimes do encounter some problems. So, with the weighted mean of 2.84 of the students, they are sometimes encountering problems waiting in a long queue at the canteen. And with the weighted mean of 2.52 of the students, still buy their food even though it is chaotic at the canteen and sometimes the students have a dilemma 
where would they eat when the table and the canteen are full with the weighted mean of 2.9? Same with weighted mean 2.96 when there are so many students buying their food. Also, there are students who run out of food when they buy food at the canteen with the weighted mean of 2.98. And with the weighted mean of 2.54, sometimes there are still students waiting in line even though there are students entering their queue. Then after SOP number 1, let's proceed with our SOP number 2. How does the online canteen system help students with the following? In the menu, when selecting orders, and also when they purchase. After surveying, these are the results using the weighted mean. The following ranges with your corresponding verbal interpretation are as follows. So after using the weighted mean formula, the setup statement shown above is a part of the survey, specifically taken by the students of Jose Abad Santos Senior High School. List of all the students with the weighted mean of 2.92 agreed of having a menu that is more accessible through online ordering. They believe it could be handy while having their needed nutriment on the scheduled time of lunch. Moreover, a majority of the students with a weighted mean of 3.38 strongly agreed that a menu could help someone decide what to consume. However, a small weighted mean of 2.74 acknowledged canteen food sometimes easily depleted. In the same manner, the weighted mean of 3.48 believed seeing a menu assisted the customer in deciding which food to have. Similarly, this weighted mean of 3.46 Finally accepted, it will expedite the process of ordering online if the presence of a menu is available. And these are the data that researchers have gathered on those terms. The following range with their corresponding verbal interpretation will be as follows. After using the formula, these are the weighted mean and their verbal interpretation. Table 2.2 represent all the weighted mean gathered by the researcher under selecting order. With the weighted mean of 2.22, students sometimes check the main ingredients of the food they about to order. With the weighted mean of 3.54, students always check the price of the certain dish before they select what to order. Students sometimes want to see what is the best seller in the canteen before they come up a conclusion on what to order. With a weighted mean of 2.96, students always look at the image of the food before they select order. With a weighted mean of 3.28, and sometimes students review some of the feedback about the food they are about to select. After handing out the questions, these are the results. And we're gonna use those ranges for their verbal interpretation. These are the weighted mean with their interpretation. In Table 2.3, it shows that the student of Oseaba de Santos High School strongly agreed when purchasing their product. With a weighted mean of 3.16 of the students of Oseaba de Santos High School, they strongly agreed that it will be easier to pay when they see the price of what they will buy. With a weighted mean of 3.22 of the students, they strongly agreed that with the availability of the online canteen system, they will be more aware of how much food will cost. Also, with a weighted mean of 3.04, the students strongly agreed that having an online canteen system will make it easier for students to pay for their food. And students strongly agreed with a weighted mean of 3.2, having an online canteen system allows students to prepare their money to pay for their meals and lastly, with a weighted mean of 3.12 students, strongly agreed that having an online canteen system will prevent the miscalculation of their food charges. For statement of the problem number 3, what features an online school canteen system should have in terms of content and the design? After completing the survey using Google Form, this is the data we got and the Likert skill. When we are done using the formula, this is the result. 
So, as you can see, the table 3.1 explains the general weighted mean of all statements under the content. So, according to the students of Jose Abad Santos High School, an online canteen must contain a comment box with a weighted mean of 3. With a weighted mean of 3.2, an online canteen system should have a combo meal for students and teachers to save some money. With a weighted mean of 3.18, an online canteen required to have a description of food about the ingredients that the students and teachers may see. With a weighted mean of 3.24, students want to see a lot of varieties of food in an online canteen. With a weighted mean of 3.54, it is important to organize a menu plan in an online canteen and it is necessary to have a different column for different kinds of food like for dishes, beverage, and desserts and other more with a weighted mean of 3.3. And these are the data that the researchers has gathered with the Likert scale for the design and their verbal interpretation. These are the computed weighted mean and their corresponding verbal interpretation. In this table, it shows the set of statements taken by the students of Jose Abad Santos High School. Students strongly agree that when designing an online system, the design must be appealing to the eyes of the user with a weighted mean of 3.28. And with a weighted mean of 3.18, students strongly agreed when developing an online canteen system Big funds must be applied for it to be noticeable. And to add to that, for it to be attractive to the user, bright and balanced colors must be used in developing the system. And that is with the weighted mean of 3.14. Also, chromatic colors are a must use too when developing an online canteen system. And they strongly agreed with the weighted mean of 3.02. And students strongly agreed with the weighted mean of 3.12 that the design of an online system do contribute in sales because having a good layout do attract some users. Overall, this research paper reiterates the importance of having an online ordering system in order to resolve problems that students are experiencing anytime they needed sustenance. All things considered, this research provides answers to the questions surrounding the validity of having an online canteen system and its specifications. As the saying goes, the belly rules the mind. Students' performance in school is directly affected by the lack of nutrients the body needs. Not only their future is on the line, but mostly their mental health and well-being. Isn't it something worth ignoring? Or it isn't? Recommendations Based on the conclusions drawn from the results of the study, the researchers prompted to highly recommend the following. 1. The canteen must undertake a survey to be able to determine precisely what the student wants and needs. 2. Improve time in delivering food to gain trust of customers. 3. School canteen should always post a menu plan in advance as the food served to provide the students information on the available food for serving, which will provide all their daily requirements. 4. A regular conduct survey and interview regarding students' preferences and suggestions should be utilized to further improve canteen operation. 5. In maintaining canteen sanitation, the canteen staffs must do a regular cleaning not only inside its premises but also on the outside. 6. Encourage canteen staff to adopt the other methods of making the food tasteful. 7. Canteen staff should secure a medical certificate from the Municipal Health Department and observe personal hygiene. 8. It is recommended that canteen staff should ensure the student's satisfaction in taste of food by serving them best. 9. In connection with maintaining its cleanliness, there should be one organization that will do a regular inspection if proper waste segregation is implemented in this area. 10. The school administrators should work together to support the feeding program to minimize the malnourished students in schools. And that would be all. Good day and thank you for listening.